Oh. Hello. Okay guys, so I've showed you this guy before, but um, now we're actually going to do something with it. Sorry if the lighting's a little weird. Uh, I did not want to turn on my garage lights because the buzzing is so loud. But this should do pretty good. Let me wide angle here. Okay, yeah, this will be pretty good. So I'm going to um, kind of disassemble this just a touch to be able to get to um, the pinion gear and the uh, I already forgot what it's called it's like a little rocker thingy that the pinion gear spins on so for anybody who doesn't know how a real mower works so this right here is the bed knife and this is the blade or the cylinder of blades or the reel all the same name you can call them whatever you want um, oh, going back okay so what happens is when, it, when you push a real mower or the in, engine or whatever pushes it the blade, the blade, and the bed knife almost come in contact, uh, like this. See how they're not touching, but really close. And this still needs to be adjusted. This is not. I don't want you thinking this is where it's supposed to be. It's very close though. Um, but that's that's how it cuts, like a pair of scissors. So um, in order to sharpen the reel, what you get to do is take the adjust the bed knife uh, because this is not movable the bed knife is so you adjust the bed knife so that there is resistance when you're going this way like you can hear right now so there is resistance and it's supposed to be um, from what i've read and heard and watched and everything there um, you want it to be uh, not too soft not too hard so you want resistance there but not too much and you want it equal across the board like right here right here you can hear resistance there but nothing there nothing there uh, it sounds like it's right there but it's actually right here I can feel it so nothing here so I need to adjust this bed knife across the whole board um, and I'm sure as old as this thing is I probably need to do something else like uh, maybe um, I don't know get the bed knife ground down or something but I don't want to do that um, not only do I not want to take it somewhere to do it but I also don't want to try myself. I don't want to screw it up. Uh, I just, for the first time ever, I now have an angle grinder. I've never had one before, so I'm not comfortable with it yet. So once I get to a point where I am, I might try that out. But for now, uh, I'm just going to actually try and just sharpen all of it the, with the lapping compound um, based on what I've been told, what I've read, what I've watched. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot, um, and we'll see how it goes. It's awful dirty. I'll clean it up. This is that pinion gear I was talking about. And um, in the newer models, these just come right off. In different models, they just come right off. I'm gonna make sure you can actually see that. Yep. So in a bunch of different models, you can just slide right off and some have a C, have a C clip and this one has, um, I don't know what kind of clip this is. But I just realized they don't have the right pliers to get that clip out, but that's okay. I can still get it out. Alright, so now that pinion gear will just slide right off. Um, and as you can see, let me make sure you can. That's the inside. So those grooves make it so it'll catch on, uh, on this guy. He's sliding out right there. You can probably see him. But, uh, you know, so let's see if that'll focus. See how that's shaped? So what that'll do is the pinion gear will catch it, but if you go the other way, it'll, it'll basically, um, bounce right through. Um, so I did see a technique online, um, 
He was a, I believe he was a very German man. He was demonstrating how you do this um, without the use of any power tool, drill, or anything like that. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. I wanted to try it, but I think this thing is too far gone to do that. The one he used, or the, uh, there's a lot of spiders in here. Uh, not in here, in my garage. Um, but the, uh, the real mower he was using to demonstrate this was much, much newer than this. It was much better maintained, well, more, more, uh, even maintained better. Uh, so this one, I think, um, even though this one is in good shape, I still am pretty sure. I still haven't gotten back to Scott's that really need to, because um, this is a Scott's mower, so they would know better than anybody else how old it is or anything. Um, so I still need to get back to them with some pictures and stuff. Um, I just haven't done it yet. I don't know why. So like I said, I'm, I know this thing's old. I just don't know how old. So right now I'm just kind of cleaning this up a little bit. It's got gunk and grease all over. Uh, right down, that's probably pretty good. So I clean this up a touch. Yeah, that's why they don't have that. It's not going to be in there. Okay, um, so I've done that side. I'm going to come around and do this side and I'll, I'll move you and see how bad it looks. Doesn't look great, but that's okay. Um, see, if I go this way, it's trying to spin it. That's that pinion gear in action there. So it's pushing the reel. If I spin it this way, nothing happens. And I didn't show you this with the other one, but that's just a uh, cotter pin. And I've removed them already, so that's why they're, they come out so easy right now. So I just didn't reset them, I just pushed them back in. <clears throat> For anybody wondering, I'm taking these, um, yeah, I'm cleaning them all up. I'm sure I'm going to get some flack or slack or whatever for it, but you're not supposed to remove these like that, but I, I am. Pinion. <laughs> brush here, clean this up. Wow, that is caked on junk. That's probably just old grease and stuff. But it's like, it's like old peanut butter, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's a little loose, no, that's okay. I'll figure that out later. For now, I just want to get her sharpened. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is adjust the bed knife, and that is done with this guy right here. Um, so this will bring the, um, let's see if I can, okay, um, hopefully I can show this. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Well, I guess I can. Okay, so this right here is the bottom of the bed knife, and uh, it's at like a... Does this make sense? Am I... Okay. I'll just do this. Okay, so here's the full bed knife that curves around. So it's got like, right here, it's like an axis point. And, and axis, not axis, axis, X, A, A, X, X, I, S. And so this guy right here, this bolt, which is held on or tightened and adjusted with this. Come up here and adjust that, ax, that axis point. 
Um, and I'm going to have to tighten this bad boy up. Um, well, maybe actually, I don't know. Anyway, um, so whenever you adjust this guy, which can you even see that? I'm going to swing back around here. Actually, I'm going to do it from this side so you can actually see. There she is. Okay, so when you adjust this guy, um, adjust the whole bed knife. So you have to do it from both sides, and you have to do it slowly, like half turn at a time sort of thing, quarter turn. Um, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now we know that the only point on this reel or bed knife that's making contact is right here. So I'm going to start by adjusting it on this side to bring, to bring this in. In order to do that, um, so if I tighten this, this pulls in, which would bring the bring this piece that this the bottom piece of the bed knife in, which would bring the top of the bed knife out. So I want to loosen this. So and I think because I don't know if it's screwing into this or screwing into this, so I'm going to go this way. And let's see if I can watch it happen. You know, I definitely have contact right here, but I don't have contact right here. So that kind of, I'm going to go over there and give it a quick little turn. And the only time I ever watched anybody do this, they're always doing, it's always, this is being adjusted by set screws. So this one doesn't have that. And it has these on the side. And then otherwise, everything I've always seen is being adjusted with, um, with the like uh, Connor Ward or Lawn Tips or those guys have that the real real mowers the uh, ga engine powered gas powered or electric in some cases with like Ryan Knorr and I think Grass Daddy has an electric one um, but the only time I've ever seen real mowers being adjusted unless I go Google it is um, those style of real mowers or like I said these the manual real mowers with the set screws so. Um, I might be going at this for a little bit, just trying to figure it out, um, but that's okay. So, loose. And you, you don't normally want to just have your hands in here like this, but these blades are so dull. Um, it really, literally would not cut paper earlier, um, and I was really trying to spent really fast to get it going, and it, it couldn't even do that. So uh, I'm not worried about it. Um, but if I was being safe and smart and stuff, I, I would be worried about it. Okay, now it sounds to me like we have contact everywhere, but maybe one itty bitty little spot. So let me just do a quick. Do a quick little adjustment over there. Just go loose a tiny itty bitty bit. Now let's see. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is these little guys, like I mentioned. Uh, oh, you're over here. Okay. This little guy. Oh, my glove ripped. My fault. There we go. Can you focus? Okay. So, because of the way that this is shaped and everything like that, if I put it in, then um, this 18 millimeter socket will grab it perfectly. Um, so I'm going to put her in, and check her out guys. So, um, doing that is going to, uh, so first of all, I bought 
on Amazon, and I'll, I'll link it if you want to check it out. Okay. And it came with this crank. Well, the problem with this crank doesn't even go on there. It's designed for the newer style of mowers, which I guess have smaller shafts. Um, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, I just decided to use the drill. And they say, using the hand crank, um, you're just supposed to sit here and crank and crank and crank. And um, it's supposed to take anywhere between, you're supposed to do it for a minimum of 10 minutes. Um, anywhere up to 30 minutes. But also, this is a very old, very dull mower. So my estimation, even if I did have a working a crank that fit, it would probably take me half hour, 45 minutes of cranking and cranking and lapping and cranking and applying compound or just all that. So, um, nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the drill. So, people, some people may not like that, may not be happy about it. Um, that's okay. Just let me know. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> so, this is lapping compound. Um, also, it's also called um, grinding compound or um, plumbing compound, I think, is the other thing. But what we want to do is take this and paint the blades up with it. And um, something else I forgot to mention, when we spin this, so this is the normal way it spins. And you can tell because it's going towards the front of the um, bed knife because that's the scissor action. So when we do this, we want to paint the compound on the top of the blade here. And we're going backwards so that it's sharpening itself. Um, and that's why, oh, look at that. Um, I think I got the wrong size of these. Um, and look at that, my hand is just, the glove is filled with sweat. Can you see that? Hands are all clammy. Um, so hey, if you, if you normally wear a large, and you want to get those uh, um, max diesel or black diesel gloves, get the size you need, not just whatever size you find first. It was pretty stupid. Um, shout out though to Max Black Diesel. Um, those are really nice gloves. If I had gotten the right size, those would be much better, but they're still really nice. Even the wrong size. Well, that's, I mean, that's saying something. Okay, so I'm going to do this without gloves now. Okay, so um, we're not going to worry about getting a perfect bead or being even or anything like that. We're going to literally slap this crap on these blades. Because as it spins, it's going to you know, move it around by itself anyway. Especially since I'm using a drill. Like I said, I'm putting, or actually in this case, I'm putting the drill, uh, yeah, in reverse. So I want it to spin this way. So now I'll start it moving nice and slow. Okay, and as I go, I'm gonna stop and paint some more compound on there. And yeah, if you if you and now you can't tell, and I'm not going to move the camera because of how dirty my gloves and stuff are. But it really spread that bead nice and even. Here we 
go. Okay. Well, we still got some resistance. The blades are, looks like they're starting to get sharp here. But I'm going to keep on going. Now, what I'd like to do, and I might just switch which way I'm doing it from, uh, because then I can hold the drill and continuously paint on compound. Actually, I think I'm definitely going to do that. Can you still see from over there? No, oh, not really. How's that? No, oh, I don't want you getting splattered. Well, that's going to have to do. So hopefully it works for you. See how the sun's going forward. I think I should still keep going. It looks like some paper. Oh, wow. Cutting pretty good, but uh, I wanted to cut better. So I'm going to keep going a little bit. Uh, instead of trying to paint, because I made, I don't know if you can tell, but I made a massive mess. Um, I'm covered in the stuff. The table's covered in the stuff. Uh, yeah, you can see all this. So I'm not going to paint it as I go. I'm going to paint it and then go. Um, and this is the brush the compound came with in that kit. And look at that, it's just falling apart. I mean, I'm not surprised I wouldn't expect him to put a nice, expensive brush in there. But... Okay. Let's get back to it here. Okay. I just don't think it's supposed to scrape that much when it's sharp. So I think I am just going to adjust it slightly. I am just going to do just a touch, just a little bit of hair here. So let's do... I'm going to do it evenly on both sides. Touch more. Okay. 
So now I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more and see if it still um, isn't quite lined up. Um, but it's obviously still sharp. It was cutting just fine. So um, let's put a little bit more compound on here. Okay, so this is the final countdown. If this doesn't uh, completely take off enough edge so that it doesn't scrape, then um, I'm going to just do a very, very tiny baby adjustment um, to the bed knife and see if that's enough to fix it. Um, I mean, what I mean to say is I'm going to keep doing that until it's enough to, to get rid of the scraping. Because I think I just brought it in too much or something. Um, or it's just, you know, it's sharp but not grinding enough away at one time to, to get rid of that sound. So here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna just, like I said, I'm gonna do just another baby adjustment. Like I said in my other video, I'm a schmitty guy. Keep on going with it. Okay, let's see if it'll still go. Great, I think I might need to adjust the back. That's not great. Still the very, very end is a little off. Right there is fine. That's fine. That seems fine. That seems fine. See, there's one little spot right here. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know how to adjust that, but there's two spots, one of them being the very, very end here. Um, <clears throat> but for now, I think I think this is pretty good, so I'm going to go, I don't like that grinding noise, um, but I'm going to deal with it for now. Again, I don't know if that's worrying anything or what, but I'm going to get all this lapping compound cleaned up, um, I'm going to put everything back together, and then I'm going to do a test mill. So, um, for now. Okay, all right, I got her all cleaned up. So now I'm gonna try my own with her. Well, here's a good spot. This looks pretty thick. Um, easy to see some stripes. So let me, uh, let me see if I can actually push it with one hand. Okay. Go back. 
back different direction and you can definitely see a stripe there Okay, so it's cutting. It's missing a ton. Um, yeah, I might need to see if I might need to seek some professional help on this. Because I obviously don't really know what I'm doing in terms of sharpening. But, I mean, you can tell that it's been mowed here. It's just not very good. I mean, my rotary gives a better cut than this. And again, let me try that thing. One of those Allen Hain things. Okay. So we're in the stripe now. Let me telescope some more. In the stripe. Out of the stripe. Well, actually, it does seem very obvious that it's cut. There's some spots that are missed. There's some spots that are laid down. But I think overall, because this is in the cut stripe. This is out of the cut stripe. And we got some valleys like this where it's, it looks the same, but oh, overall, it's a good cut.